I don't know what I believe. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about uh, the famous comment, your time is coming. This year will be your year. So in all the years that I've been single, the most common comment I would receive is, your time is coming. Sure, my time is coming. But my time is coming for dying also. My time is coming for growing old. My time is coming for eating my next meal. Another comment that I don't like is, uh, why are you single at your age? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I've gotten that a few times. What's wrong with you? How come you're still single? How come you've been single for this long? And, and another famous quote that I absolutely love is, don't worry, Sarah was 90 when she had a baby. There's a lot of things I don't like about that phrase. I, I, I don't know, I don't know about you, but uh, Sarah, yes, was 90, according to the Bible, when she conceived. And you know what? Sarah didn't believe it when she heard it from the angel. She didn't believe it. She laughed. She's like, I'm old, I'm 90, how am I going to have a child? So if she didn't trust and have faith in what God told her, <laughs> Do you expect me to trust and have faith that much? You know what I mean? Like it's just she doubted. I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna doubt too. You know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna feel bad about doubting, about having a hard time trusting God with His timing in my life. It's just not that easy. So when I hear that scripture to like try to like encourage me to stay hopeful. It doesn't work. Does it work for you? I'd like to know. I'd like to know. This is something I would love to know how it makes you feel when you hear that. <laughs> Another phrase that I kind of don't like is you need to trust that God has someone for you. God has the perfect man for you. I have a hard time believing that because trying to understand God's character when you read the Bible, when you read his word, there's nowhere in the Bible where it says God has the best person for you. God will bring you your perfect match or, you know, stuff like that. It doesn't say anything like that. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't, I can't remember on top of my head if there's a story in the Bible that is about God bringing forth your spouse or their spouse. In, in the Bible. Let me know if there's one because I can't recall reading about that specific um, situation. And I know of the scripture that talk about just ask and you shall receive. God wants the best for you or God, you know, this the parable about the your earthly father giving you a gift. Therefore, your heavenly father will give you a better gift. You know, that parable of the gifts um, that, okay, you know, sure, God, I believe, wants to give me the best, yes, but I don't believe he has a perfect husband in his mind for me. I know that he knows who I'm going to marry. You know, I think I probably have a Baptist view when it comes to God's character involving things like spouses or, you know, personal, emotional things. I have more of a Baptist view about that. He's out there. I know he's out there. I just have to meet a man that chooses me and I choose him back. Another comment that I don't like is when you stop looking, you will find him. Really? 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 Is he going to fall off the sky onto my lap? Okay. So with that comment, with that saying, I, I believe half of that is true. So if you keep looking for someone because you're not well with being single, because you 
you have a hard time being single because you're lonely because you want nothing more than to get married and you feel uh, stressed out you feel uh, you're not at peace you know uh, you don't put God first in your life if you're going through all of that then I believe that yes that saying applies to you but you got to find him first and then you will find him so one saying that I like one of my favorite things is be the person you're looking for is looking for if you're in a good place eh, there's nothing wrong with looking am I making any sense I feel like it's really hard to make sense of all of this but that's what it is I don't like these things what do you think about those things what do you like and what do you not like and do you have any other comments that people tell you that you don't like I like to hear them because I'm sure I forgot a bunch of them that I don't like. So thanks for watching guys and please comment below. I want your opinions. I want more phrases. I want to know what really bothers you when people say phrases that think that will encourage you. <laughs> and for the people watching that do say those phrases, you know, don't take it the wrong way, but sometimes it just it triggers people in their weak spot. <laughs> so, I don't know. Whatever. Eh. Okay, bye.